Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 59 in chapter 10. In this chapter, we talk about rotational motion. See, you can see we have this system. We have a wheel, right? And then the mass is given. We consider it's A. The, the point, so the center of mass for A is just a zero. So we consider it as this point. This point is zero. It is at the center, zero. The radius is given, and we have a point. The weight is b, and this b the mass is given. The position is x b is given, and the radius for b is given. The first one we need to find the position of a center of mass. So for center of mass, we can consider we have m a times x a plus m b times s b divided by m a plus m b. This is the equation in our test book. Now input the known quantities inside. We find the final answer is x cm. See, uh, we can draw a line to say this is the center of mass nine for this system at zero, right? Next one, we need to find the momentum of inertia about an axis through its uh, center of mass. So through its center of mass, first one it is at zero. Agree? So when it is at zero, so first one we consider the momentum of inertia for the a the this is circle, the wheel. So it must have the momentum of the of itself with the center of mass and also MA times XCM squared. This is a paraxis theorem. So we consider paraxis theorem. So for A, first one, it has the it rotate around the center there, and also it the center of mass changed to there. So it has the from this distance to this distance, agree? So this distance is just x cm square because the xa is zero, right? So you, you can understand that, I think. So in, for the circle, the momentum of, of a ratio is one half ma ra square. The next one, we look at the b. The b is zero, right? So b, and then it is just a weight, a small point. So we just consider this is uh, mb. Now the distance from the rotation axis to the b is this one. So the distance from this one is uh, xb minus xcm, right? Because we can see this is xb, this is uh, xcm, so xb minus xcm is this distance. This one, and then we add momentum of A ratio for A and the Momentum of a ratio for B, we get the final answer there. Thank you.